hello and welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to tell you about axis sin 2 some of the points you have to remember about axis sin 2 is the first one Bassanio has not taken the oath i will prove it in act to sin 1 when morocco when morocco gives a speech of his proudness in the last part it is told that first we'll have the dinner portia tells that first we'll have the dinner and then we'll go to church for the oath and act 2 scene 9 Neisa tells fast fast quick quick prince of aragon has came uh, play, remove the clothes uh, from the caskets it is told but in act 2 scene 9 in the last part we see a venetian is coming in that also it is not told anything about oath and here also in act 3 scene 2 belmont a room in portia's house it's tightly told it means here also Bassanio has not taken oath. Now, the second thing. Mine one I could say, but if mine, then yours, and so all yours. Oh, this naughty times would pass between the owners and their rights. Portia wants to speak that I am divided into two. One half is already yours, means point come that Portia loves Bassanio. One half is already yours, but the other half is of my holy dead father. Uh, this proves that uh, Portia loved her father. And here, Portia's character, Portia character is superior to Nerissa's character. Because Nerissa elopes with a Christian and Shylock dislikes it. So... Here it is proved that Portia's character is higher as compared to uh, Jessica. So here it is proved and Portia speaks that my half is of Bassanio's and my other half is of my father's. Bassanio, if you want that my other half, that my other half be yours, then you have to pass through these caskets which my father, which my holy late father has organized for me. Now, the third point. Third point is, Bassanio is being tortured. How? For as I am, I live upon the rack. 26 line. For as I am, I live upon the rack. Rack. What's the meaning of rack? In Elizabethan period, there was a punishment in which, like you have seen the cross, in a cross, a man was tied and his two hands were tied with rope and ten men from left and ten men from right were told to uh, were told uh, to pull and he was killed unto death when his two body parts when his body parts co uh, could be cut from the between when uh, because there is a pull that's why the body parts could be cut into it will it could be halved and it was the punishment and it was a very deadly punishment and Bassanio is telling I am upon the ra rack means I am tortured I am tortured upon the rack how here it is told Bassanio in the, um, the 37th line confess and love had been the very sum of my confession. Oh, happy torment. Torment means torture. When my torture doth teach me answers for deliverance. But let me to my fortune and the, and the, and the caskets. He is tortured by love. Because one side there is his fortune. And one side is his lover. A lover tortures him because the lover who is the Portia knows in which casket his is his uh, is her portrait but she never tells because it is his fortune which will take him to the destiny and the destiny is Portia because if uh, Portia if Portia will tell that in which casket is her po portrait then she will break the promise if she breaks the promise 
you will think that uh, it will and uh, it will uh, nothing nothing will happen but the thing is Portia is the protagonist character it means Portia is the main character and she has to be the superior and if she breaks a promise then she will be equal to Jessica because Jessica also cheats her father that is why Portia will not break the promise and as I always tell that Shakespeare was a very good businessman as well a very good dramatist so he knew how to equalize a drama how to equalize the characters now moving on to the third part it is the songs Portia tells when uh, Bassanio is seeing the caskets what is written on the caskets Portia tells that if if he fails if he fails then which type of song it will be if he fails to choose the correct casket which type of song you will play then if he lose he makes a swell like and fading in music that the comparison may stand more proper my I shall be the stream and battery that bad for him so Elizabethan period it is a belief that when swans cry that is the last time for them means after the, the after that time they will be going to death so they're telling when swans sing swans sing then uh, when the swan sings they after they sing they go to the watery deathbed means they die there by drowning in the water because that's their last time so Portia is telling if he fails then play a music which the swans cry before their death before their death and to equalize for the drowning for the drowning of Bassanio drowning of Bassanio means Bassanio's hopes Bassanio's desires and Bassanio's hope and desire is Portia so uh, and uh, when there will be a crying sound by the music players when there will be a crying sound by the music players then Bassanio's hopes and desires should go down should drown as like the swans so to there should be a watery bed means there should be a pond or river so that Bassanio's hopes and desires will go down for that Portia will cry for that Portia will cry I tell you if in this in this scene if you cannot understand any of those parts please write in the comment box I will I will give you the paraphrase of it please just tell me and I'll give the paraphrase I tell you it's a very delicate scene and you have to know okay now moving on to the second music if if Bassanio wins then which type of song it will be he may win and what is music then then music in even as the flourish when true subjects bow to a new crown monarch means well, like the music should be like that when the music should be like that when a new king a new king is a new king is um, crowned and the flourish of cornets will live there like that type of songs you will play and the third song when he will win in this three songs are mentioned one when he will lose and two when he will win the third one will be it is are those ducklet sounds in break of day that creep into the dreaming bridegroom's ear and summon him to marriage and the third song will be if he wins then the third song will be that the sound which a bridegroom hears when at the day of marriage at the day of marriage when he hears in his dream in his or her dream when he he, he hears that sound you will play if Bassanio wins so I hope that these three musics are clear for you now the third part is the most important about Bassanio's 
choosing of caskets Bese i mean Bese uh, how uh, no sorry before that there is one more point that's portia's song how portia indirectly helps and uh, today it's not possible and so please wait for my next video thank you and have a nice day my hindi version of this video will be soon published so i think you have to wait for this and i'll be giving you and remember if you have any problem if you want the paraphrase of these points remember whatever i am telling you whatever example i am giving you that's that are the important ones and if you need any of those paraphrase please write in the comment box i will surely give you the paraphrase of this of this uh, shakespearean language thank you and have a very 